Hey Ravens, welcome to our Friday show. I'm Cindy Weeks alongside Gabby Thomas. Today we have recaps on the bowling team, girls and boys basketball, and a story on an aspiring model. Let's hit it. The bowling team competed against the three other Olathe schools in the Olathe City meet. Let's roll it over to Nicole Day and Angie Torres for the recap. Last Tuesday, the girls and boys varsity teams competed in their city meet with the other Olathe schools. The boys advanced to the final match against Olathe North. The Ravens beat North and got the win. This Friday, the Ravens will compete in the regional tournament to try to get to state. Way to strike against competition. And shout out to Tyler Schooley for being named Bowler of the Day. Our girls and boys basketball teams traveled over to Shawnee Mission Northwest to take on the Cougars. Let's shoot it over to Ben Blades and Gabby for some great footage. Way to go, Ravens. The girls won 55 to 48 while the boys won 50 to 38. Remember to come out to the last home game of the regular season for senior night against our rival Olathe North Eagles. A special shout out to Logan Rance for earning a Division I superior rating at this year's State Piano Festival in Wichita. This is a tremendous achievement. Even more remarkable is that Logan qualified and performed at State all four years of his high school career. Great job, Logan. Nina Manzan, a senior here at Northwest, is an up-and-coming model. Dima Matthews has the scoop. Hi, my name is Dima Matthews, and I got the opportunity to sit down with Nina Manzan, a senior here at Olathe Northwest, and talk a little bit about her modeling career. Manzan started modeling at a young age. I started modeling my freshman year of high school, and I think I was 14 at the time, which is a really good age because I want you to start younger, so by the time you're like in your late teens, you kind of know what you're doing by then. Nina's mom, Ms. Foster, a teacher here at Olathe Northwest, has always been a big supporter of her modeling career. She comes to all of my shows. They don't give any of the models free tickets, so she buys everything to come and watch me. And she's super supportive, and just a lot of parents of models aren't so supportive like that, or they get super clingy. So whenever she goes to my shoots, she's like, she's always there in the background cheering me on. Ellen Eyre, Monzon has come to find the right agency for her. Signed with Exposure Models and Talent. I was signed with Voices and for a while, but it just wasn't a good fit for me. So I switched a couple months ago and it's been really good so far. Though the future is not exactly clear in the modeling industry, Monzon knows that she will be going to a college in Texas. So far, my biggest priority is just going to school. And I'm going to school in Texas next year. And Texas is huge, so I'll probably find something out there to do. But um, Probably find an agency in New York City or LA and get signed with them. For ONW Now, this has been Dima Matthews. Now back to the desk. That's definitely an interesting profession. That's all we have for today's show. For Gabby Thomas, this has been Sydney Weeks. Have a great weekend, Ravens.